Hello, friends! Okay, oh my god, I almost just fall. Fell. F oh my god, I'm still tired from Relay. I am so sorry. I've been asleep. Awake. What? Ah. <sighs> uh. I slept until like 5 or 5.30, and I've only been awake since then. But I still feel tired. What? But oh my gosh. Relay was so much fun. On top of it, Q&A and friends, our team, got third place top fundraising team. Yes! Since I'm awake and like, my hair clearly does not know what it's doing because it is all over the place. It's weird. I should just do a cooking and cutoffs, right? But I've been wearing the same old, same old cutoff for such a long time now. The blue don't stop bullying cutoff. I love the message, but it's time for a new one. So folks, here we go. Ready to see the new cutoff? Ready? Ready? It's not made yet. Let me cut it quick. Some of you will recognize it because it's a shirt I wear a lot, like, junior and senior year in high school. It is... This shirt. Yes! This is... I'm never doing the introduction because now it's real because I've got my cut off and I'm spinning oddly fast. Oh god. Oh. My hair really doesn't know what it's doing. So now guess what we're making today? Oh my gosh, you should be so excited because it's healthy and easy and quick. Plus, it was a viewer request made, like, a month ago? Uh, two months ago, maybe? Probably three. It is quick and easy vegetable stir-fry. That's what I'm making. It's gonna be a quick evening, guys. Why is it gonna be so easy? Because I'm using frozen vegetables. I realize that this is probably scaring some of you. So it's time that we have a little bit of a love sack chat. Here we go, guys. I can hear it right now. Some of you are like, oh my god, frozen vegetables? I thought you made healthy food when you made healthy food, Brandon. Well, folks, let's remember I'm a college student. And many of you are too. I'm sorry, but if I can find frozen vegetables that are already prepped and they're cheap, why not? They taste the same. Yes, from an exercise science standpoint, there is the possibility that some of the nutrients have been denatured and vitamins aren't the same. But there's a give and take. This is going to be a lot less time. It's simple. It's cheap. And I'm tired, so let's get this on the road. And that was your Love Sack Endorse chat from Cooking and Cutoffs 2K16. No, I don't like that. Don't use that. That's not a hashtag. No. Fry pan. Frozen veggies, heat. Water, kettle, heat. That's for my tea, that's not for the stir fry. Guys look, it's sizzling, it's thawing. They're still kind of frozen, but it's sizzling, so it's thawing. We need this to get a little more thaw. D thawed? A little more thawed. Did just add a few more of the frozen vegetables so that I can have some leftovers for lunch tomorrow. I'm very excited. So you probably are wondering why I'm using a plastic spoon. That's because we really need to do dishes and it's bad. It's bad. I'll show you if it wouldn't like completely gross you out but like oh my god I look at it and I like almost like barf in my mouth because it's a lot of work. <laughs> okay so they're starting to soften up and the pan is starting to dry out so we're going to take it off the burner so I can show you what I use to season my stir fry. Here we go. Now let me tell you. Don't just take what I use as my stir-fry seasonings as amazing, because stir-fry is so personal. Everyone likes their stir-fries different, so you're just going to have to play around with what you think you do and don't like. This is what I use first. I use teriyaki stir-fry sauce. No, just teriyaki sauce by La Choy. Also use some squeezed ginger, because I really love the flavor of this stuff. It almost adds like another dimension to your stir-fry that you don't get just with the sauces. Obviously soy sauce, you cannot have stir-fry without soy sauce, that's weird. Garlic powder or fresh garlic, but I am feeling incredibly lazy today, so garlic powder it is. White pepper, because... I don't know why. Just, it tastes better than black pepper. Oh god, that sounds racist. Vince takes offense to my white pepper comments. I take offense to all racism. Including his. <laughs> I'm not racist. But last but not least, as Vince awkwardly stares at me and smells his own shoe, I <laughs> use sriracha because I like it a little spicy. 
teriyaki, soy, ginger. That's a lot. Oh, sure. More teriyaki to kind of balance out that ginger. <laughs> that was a lot. Oh, God. Our white racist pepper, garlic powder, and sriracha. If it looks like it's a little too dry, you can also add a little olive oil. I might have to. So, we're going to stir this stuff up, and I'll let you know. This is looking good, guys. Now we've turned the heat back on. We're going to actually stir fry this now. Here we go. Heat up. Heat up. Heat up. Now, I will say that if you feel like you're... <laughs> what, Vince? So now... I can't even focus after what Vince said. Oh, if your stir fry is too flavorful after you try it, add more onion. The only problem with mine is it's slightly too spicy, but I can live with that because I love sriracha. Do you hear that sizzle? Do you see that steam? Oh my gosh, get the plastic spoon out of the hot pan and realize that your stir fry is done. So here's my stir fry and my water it's starting to whistle, so let's get our tea ready. Ah, I made a mess. Raspberry lychee tea. Stir fry. Tea. Get ready for work, 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 work. It's me at the work, 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 work. It's me do me da 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 da. It's all me better work, 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 work. I'm feeling like one of my bonus rants tonight, guys. I know you haven't had one in a long time, and you must be missing them. So I'm going to eat my stir-fry, then I'll be back with my tea. Okay, friends. I'm in the love sack. I'm bundled up. You're about to watch a and <laughs> Vince is about to watch America's Next Top Model. I am rather convinced this is going to be the next show of our suite. I'm kind of excited. It'll be a change for Malcolm in the Middle. The only problem is that... I've already seen a lot of these because of my mom and sister, so we'll see if I remember a lot of these. <laughs> okay guys, let's annoy Vince. What are we going to rant about tonight? Let's annoy Vince. <laughs> Maybe. Raspberry lychee. Oh yes. Time to rant, folks. I just figured it out. I know what I'm going to rant about. I might have to move into my room so I don't bother Vince and his ANTM watching. Cycle, what cycle are you watching? 11? Okay, people, let's talk. So, some of you heard about my summer plans, my possible summer plans. But for those of you who didn't, I'll let you know that I applied to a job one hour north of New York City, an hour and a half. Guess what the job was? When you hear it, you're like, oh my god, Brandon, that's you. The job was working at a summer camp, teaching kids how to cook. Teaching kids cooking classes. Teaching kids how to cook. Oh, that would be so much fun. I'd be cooking every single day. That's a lot, but I think I'd love it. But here's the problem. I'm adulting-ish. I don't think you can call it real adulting. I'm attempting to adult. And I have to pay rent. Rent is expensive! This job would take up all three months of my summer, June, July, and August. And if I just stayed here in Waukesha, worked a minimum wage job, 40 hours a week, I would make 1500 more dollars over the summer. So when you look at it from like a financial perspective, it's like, I've got, I'm in school, grad school is only going to be more expensive. But like, if you think about the experience, That'd be so great, being in New York all summer teaching kids how to cook. But I have to be able to live, you know? Like, I need money for that. And then, like, what if this is the last time I would be able to do something like this? Like, something not necessarily related to my major, my future. And, like, there's this other part of me where I'm just like, I, I could maybe compromise? Maybe. Here's something that ran through my head. Anyone who knows about, like, high school and before I came to college, I was heavily, heavily involved in 4-H. I haven't heard of 4-H, 
wonderful youth organization based on leadership and interaction in a non-judgmental sphere. The reason that I love 4-H is because, like, if you think Girl Scouts, you have to be a girl. Boy Scouts, you have to be a boy. What? Why do we have such a gender dichotomy where we're separated as much as possible? Just the fact that I have to use the word dichotomy leads to the fact that it's a binary gender system, and we all know that that is crap. Gender is not defined by A or B. It's a spectrum. It's not even a straight line spectrum. It's like a pool of spectrums. Way different rant. That's what I'll rant on next time. Back to the problem at hand. I was thinking maybe I could get involved with 4-H. Oh my god, my tea is almost gone. 4-H cooking classes. It's like almost kind of comparable-ish, not really, but it's still got some of that idea and concept in there. Okay, I gotta get up because you guys remember I made a goals list. Everyone in my suite, we have our goals list. You're all a fan of number 11. <laughs> Since we're going to the goals lists. Goals! Number 11. Start choosing finding better men. I don't love that one. I don't know why. Everyone always comments it when they come into the room. I'm looking at Vince because he's giving me a weird look. But, let's look at number 12. Oh my god. Get re-involved with... 4-H. I was thinking aerospace leader, but what if that's foods and nutrition? So like, it's even on my goals list. I've set a personal deadline as having my decision made by tomorrow. Um, as you can clearly hear, I have nowhere near made up my mind, but it's a good thing I slept all day so I can think all night, right? Yeah, that's my rant. You know what? It's okay not to know what you're going to be doing. And since... I like to include all my sweet mates in my snaps. Let's go ask Ashley about this. Hey Ashley. Parts. Why is it okay not to know what you're going to do with your life or in your future? Because it'll always change and you should follow what you like and your like got cut off. Would you like to amend? I look like a potato, that's all I was gonna say. Oh hey, there's Vince's feet. Ah. <laughs> But that is another rant for another day, so I'm just gonna end this one here. I'm so sorry, this is a weird rant. I needed this for me. <laughs> First off, happy siblings day to my sister. I love you. I hope everything is going well at school. You're gonna be a great nurse. And now it is time to sign off. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. Search Cooking and Cutoffs on Facebook and YouTube. Find me there, like, subscribe, watch my videos. And don't forget that your friends need to add cooking and cut off on Snapchat if they want to experience the beauty. I promise I'm getting a haircut soon so that I can make this a little more presentable for you. But I've got to go shopping with Ashley now. Guys, quit distracting. My cut off to yours. Uh, that was a bad one. Let's redo that. So for my cut off to yours. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. You're all beautiful. Don't let anyone tell you different. Bye.